is early park entry worth it at Universal? Let's go find out. So we got here around 7.45 and it is currently like 8.12 because well, I don't even have a watch on. So we're waiting for Shanique to get here. Um, and then we are gonna head on Velocicoaster to see what the wait time is and if it's actually worth coming here an hour early. There was kind of a big crowd when we got here around 7.45 and they didn't start letting us in until 7.50ish. So just keep that in mind, but let's go see what the wait time is. Let's go, it says 15 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. Just kidding. I can't see. Haha. <laughs> I'll take it from here. The queue is literally Let's empty. Alright, the queue stopped that right here, so we'll see how long it takes. We are making a move. We are like so I love them so much. We just got off as you can tell and it was a total like getting into the line and then getting on the ride and getting off the ride and getting our stuff on the lockers 25 minutes so 100% worth it but Hagrid's is already at 120 so it's definitely worth it for Velocicoaster but I think Hagrid's it might be worth it if you're trying to shave off an hour of your day but also sometimes it's busier during early entry than it is during the day so I'll keep you posted as long as we're here just for the sake of this video but um, for Velocicoaster, always 100% worth it. I come and do this literally all the time. Okay, so I just got home. We actually ended up hopping over to SeaWorld really quick. So I will insert some random clips here and I'll kind of give an explanation of what I thought of some of the rides in just a second. But, but I didn't vlog too much because we kind of just popped in and out and I also haven't been in so many years. Like I haven't been since like before 2009. So I didn't really have like I didn't know what to say because I don't know too much about SeaWorld. So I was just going for me, but I did record some clips. Anyway, just an update for you. Hagrid's is at 100 minutes. Literally less than what it was this morning, which was 120 minutes. Um, and that was during early entry between 8 and 9. It was like 8.45ish. And Velocicoaster is 75 now. So I would say, I mean, you're saving 20 minutes. And like, yeah, you get an extra hour to the park technically if you do the 8 to 9. So if you think of it that way, definitely worth it also not necessary because like i said sometimes the wait times are higher during early entry like it was today than like at random 3 p.m on a sunday afternoon so just keep that in mind so i would say early park entry is definitely worth it if you want to knock out rides like if you want to go on Velocicoaster and like a, a ton of other rides what i personally would do is i would rather wait 100 minutes for a ride than 120 minutes for high rides for example so i think what i would personally do is go on Velocicoaster and then go on any other rides that are open during early entry and then I would wait to watch the wait times for Hagrid's and then try to get on when I feel like it's the lowest and like I'm willing to ride that amount. So I went on quite a few rides. I went on Manta. We looked at penguins, by the way, that was really, really fun. The penguins were so cute. And we also saw a dolphin show that was really cute. And we did some other things that I will play in just a second, like continuous clips of like a montage. But in terms of rides, I went on Manta. All these I went on for the first time. I've never been on these except for Kraken. I think I'd rid ridden Kraken before, but I rode Kraken. I rode Manta. I rode Pipeline, the brand new roller coaster that opened last year. And I also rode Mako. Mako was so fun. I For me, it's in between Manta, Mako, and Pipeline, just because Manta and Pipeline are so unique that I really, really like that. And then Mako was just such a fun, like, like airtime ride in itself. It was, it was so fun um, and so high up. I also don't know if you would need to spend a full day there. Like, you definitely can, but if you are just going to get everything done, if you want to quickly glance at the animals, quickly go on the rides, and also watch the shows and then leave, I think you can definitely do that without having to be there nine to nine but the rides themselves were so so much fun i really really had a good time and i really like love that they were more thrillish so yeah uh here's a little montage of all the stuff that i saw at SeaWorld and the little clips that i did film thank you guys so much for hanging out i love y'all make sure you subscribe for more content have a wonderful weekend magical month and i'll see y'all in the next one Bye.